some would play. You're showing. Matt's minutes. <laughs> so, can that be the? <laughs> can we do that? That's the entrance. I think it's yeah. time for Matt's minutes. Nice. Yeah, bro, you gotta join really us. Good. Doing that was listening to you. It sounded really good. No, you gotta join us. That's how. <gasps> okay, we do it. ready? <laughs> I think it's time for Matt's minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Uh, so, last time the party discovered itself outside of a city it failed to protect from a dragon. The city was flooded. Everyone lost most of their shit except for what they were wearing, and they got to keep two items um, and a weapon, right? Yes. Yeah, because you were able to hold a couple things in one hand and your weapon in the other. So that happened. Ari... With the exception. And Galsaira got a cold. (laughs) (laughs) There There was a magic ghost lady who told us to come back to her house definitely to eat us. We went back to our house and she disappeared in true ghost lady fashion. We went in, looked for looked through some rooms, fought some bats, fought a giant spider. Fought some bats. Uh Den- Dendo Dragon uh went and searched for food. What's your name? <laughs> What's what you call me? <laughs> Dendo, Dendo Dragon. Dragon. <laughs> It's like pretty it. good, pretty good anime this last season. Oh, I season thought ago. that was a weird thing you just came up with. My name is um, Dagoda. Dagoda. Uh, went- oh, wait, no. Dagoda. Dagoda. Dagoda, Dagoda. Dagoda, Dagoda went. Dagoda. Told us to chill out, dry off, maybe rest. Cast Dagoda. Went looking for food, found some rats to bite her. Good <laughs> times. Uh, found a secret door, but came back to us with some food that wasn't food. Good times. Um, we went down the hallway and Galsira got charmed and is now missing. We need to get her back so we can go to that goddamn secret room, but she's about to fight a thumping noise from above by herself. Good luck. Well, <laughs> as Ari and Dagoda are attempting to find you, Galsira. Business of the meeting yeah, being where the closed. Heck, where the heck am I? You walked into a room and it looks like you're in the middle of a forest. Ooh, I like this place. Yeah, so, okay, wait, I don't notice this, so I haven't put it together yet, but I know what's right. happening. Mm-hmm. Okay, and like, but, I'm, but I'm, am I outside, or am I still... Well, it feels like you're in the middle of a forest. Feels like it. Okay. Feels what? like it. You, you look around, and there are lots of trees feels and huh. grass, like and it feels like it, it, it seems like it's like the middle of the day now. There's such need a little sex down. from the butt clown. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's just such a good lyric, and I'm done. It's a miracle. Okay, so it, it's like I'm in the, it's like I'm in a forest, and there's a sun coming. And there's down. sun coming through the oh. branches of trees all around you. Oh, and I'm like, I like this place. Ooh, I feel better already. And you take a kind of <laughs> couple do. steps forward, and you see um, a circle of stones going in a big Ooh. circle. Because that's what a circle does. <laughs> Ooh, I bet these were built by my ancestors. And <laughs> that's what you think. <laughs> you do <laughs> see runes written on each one. Oh. And you notice that they're the, the coordinates for the compass coordinates. Hmm. And there's one for each coordinate. Okay, fuck it. Ten, <laughs> ten points to Jelly Door from Jenna DM. Sorry, stepping in right there for that. Oh. Sorry. Okay. And also, this is the poster I made for, <laughs> for you. <laughs> Uh, well, you were okay. in the middle of place. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, and there, and um, even though the sunlight's coming through, there is a mist that's just kind of hovering around everything. Okay, what did you say the inscriptions are on the stones? The compass coordinates. Okay, hmm. I just go and I stand in the middle of the stone area, and you just kind of feel like a hum, like a very low-level hum, come through you. I want to cast Detect Magic. Okay. You detect a very low-level energy of magic, but it's kind of like really dispersed I have an idea. around everything. And I haven't flushed this one all the way out yet. Yeah, no, it's fine. So hold on. Yeah. And you, but you feel it the strongest around the north stone, the stone with the north compass. Okay. Righty thingy. I just kind of feel... <laughs> I just kind of feel um, just kind of magnetized to that stone. And it's like something's going on with that. So let's kind of walk towards it. 
You walk towards it. Uh, I'd like to study it in depth, like to see if there's anything else. Okay, roll per- for perception. Six. The number. You just kind of feel <laughs> just kind of like a higher hum around it, like almost a palpable <laughs> vibration. I want to look again. <laughs> I mean, just I feel, keep looking. I feel like there's something here that I'm just not seeing. Okay, roll for perception. There's something I'm not perceiving. If only I could perceive it. 20. And at this point, you notice that directly in front of you, from amongst the trees, steps another druid that looks like dressed as if it was from your village. Oh, I just kind of like I get goosebumps, like little goosebumps. Actually, I have them right now. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm just like, I'm like, hi. Do I recognize this druid? They seem really familiar, okay. but you can't quite place them. Um, I'm like, do I? My name's Gosira. Do Do I know you? You seem very familiar to me. They walk up to you and put one hand on your right shoulder and kind of start pulling you towards them. Uh, I, I'm like, can you, can you say something, please? You're kind of creeping me out that you're not talking. And then they put their finger over your lips as if to ask um, you to be quiet. I don't know. The last person I, 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 I just blindly followed, what it, just, you know, they lured us into this haunted house and now here I am. I don't, I, I resist. I don't want to go where this person's making me go. And then all of a sudden they whip out a dagger <gasps> and throw it. And it goes straight past your head and hits kind of a big spider. Not as big of a spider as you fought before, Ooh. but a big spider and kills it against a tree. Oh, and I, do I turn around? Do I see that? Yes. I'm just like, what? Did you just kill that spider for me? And they take your hand and start to pull you deeper into the woods. Roll for constitution. <laughs> uh, 16. But you feel like you really shouldn't go with this person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you're able to kind of plant your feet and not continue with them. Yeah, you know, and I'm so, really sorry. Thank you for, you know, killing that spider for me, but I just have a hard time trusting... Here's Ari! <laughs> yeah, it's I, about time. She's had six turns. Yeah, I, I just have a hard time trusting people who don't talk when I'm asking them questions, so... Remember, you guys have been, like, hitting different doors and stuff. Yeah, Ari, mm-hmm. second door on the left. Can't mm-hmm. open it. Get your fucking axe out. I think we're still doing the jelly thing, though. Yeah, are we, we checked four doors. I'm, I'm just following the lead of the DM. Four doors. Okay, so... No, I'm just saying. Do you really want me to hurt you more? <laughs> no, but I, I would love it if She will let us know when it's our turn again. I will let <laughs> you know it. when got it's our it. turn. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. I got excited and nervous. Like, stop stomping on Jelly. I'm working on... I'm not I'm, stomping on Jelly. <laughs> I'm trying to Matt, get to Matt Jelly. Matt is working on Matt and letting this thing happen <laughs> without interjecting. The... This person then turns towards you and all of a sudden his face, their face contorts Ooh. into like very hellish kind of looking thing and just starts screeching. And then Ari and Dagoda. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> hear the screeching coming. Um, roll for perception. 14. Uh, 18. Dagoda here is that it's coming from that first door on the right that you guys had passed. Oh, then so I was wrong about the door on the second door on the left. Into the microphone. I was wrong about the second door on the left. What I meant to say was it's the first door on the right. Okay, uh, I, I I'm go hearing... to open that door. Is it locked? No. All right, open the door. I hate myself. Let's go in there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks, looks like a, a little, little study. I go into the study. So I'm actually... Still looks like a study to you. So I'm really... I am an outlander and came from the woods and stuff. And okay. I'm very familiar with druids. I have a kinship with them because they... You're trying are, to say you're trying to outsmart the DM here? No, I'm just saying, like, you know, maybe maybe I could walk in and see what happens. Okay, we'll walk in and see what happens. I'm going to walk in. All right, roll for perception. Uh, 14. It looks like a study. All right, I go to the second door on the right and try to open it. Um, that's the one that looks like a library. Third? Wait, down the hallway? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Which door was locked? 
The second, second door, on the, door on the left. Okay, I go to the second door on the left, and I try to open it. It's locked. I hit it with my axe. Is it wood? You realize that it's there's like a wood paneling, but it's actually like a very tough iron door. Oh, well, then I kick it. It does not kick in. I, um, I pick the lock. You cannot pick the lock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta da gotta. <laughs> I go to, or I say, Ari, let's try the secret room in the kitchen. All right. That makes sense. Can't get through this door somehow, man. I don't yeah. have, have any way to open it. So and I don't think it's worth wasting your weapon on. I don't have it anymore. <laughs> it's iron. Okay, so. so we go to that place. So you guys go to the kitchen, and you go to where you where you kind of notice the iron door. Dakota, I need you to roll for constitution. <laughs> <laughs> it's a four total. As you approach it, all of a sudden you feel a really strong pull and you kind of basically like rip the secret door off and just like run down the stairs as quickly as you can. Can I try to grab her? You are. Uh, I move 30 feet. uh, I move 30 feet a turn. So just a heads up. That's a critical fail. You fall on your face. You don't take any damage, but you do trip and fall and you don't actually see Dagoda go down into is it the trap stairs door. or is it stairs? Does he it's roll down, down the stairs? No, like he's going across the kitchen to try to like uh-huh. grab you because oh, he gotcha. sees you kind of like starting to take off towards the corner, but he trips and falls, so he doesn't actually see you go down into the trap door, and the trap door closes before you can see it. All right, so I <laughs> I go sorry I go <laughs> I go search for. To go to to find to figure out where she went because roll for she perception went that way nine. You do not find the trap door. All right, so I I keep looking. I guess because she was definitely <laughs> there. Okay. As you're trying to search around, Dagoda, you run down some stairs and you come out into the middle of a large like cellar, but it doesn't look like your typical kitchen cellar. In fact, it looks like there's like a sparring ring in the middle of the room. And on the left seems to be like an armor rack. And on the right, a weapons rack. Do I recognize any of the armor or the weapons? There's not really any like any insignia or anything on them. They're just okay. very generic, almost very beat up. They kind of come into like a couple different sizes, almost like practice Do armor. Do any of them look better than my armor right now? Uh, roll for perception. Nine. No. Okay. Then I stay in that. I I have the ability. I have like it's I think I can dark carry a here. couple of weapons, and I probably still have light cast. Okay. Because that's like a pretty long one. Okay. Uh, what weapons are there? How far does the light go for light cast? Twenty feet. Okay. As you're looking around and you're noticing all these things, you actually hear like a moan come from the back left corner. And then what appears to be a very grotesque man starts shuffling towards you. I just, I have a, I have my scimitar and I just like hold it up in like a semi surrender kind of thing. And he's a human. He looks human esque. Yes. So I try and talk to him in uh, common and say, like, I'm just looking for my friend. Can you help me? He, as he's, he's actually now passing the weapons rack. Nope, I said that wrong. The armor's rack, where he kind of like grabs like a helm and like tries to stick it on his head. And he kind of does so, but it's like crooked. But, and you notice that he has got a big club. In one arm, kind of dragging it, and he just kind of moans again, and then goes to swing the club at you, and it disappears. You wish, because <laughs> <laughs> everything else has disappeared, right? <laughs> Hitting seventeen, he hits seventeen damage. <laughs> oh man, he says way more than I thought. Okay, seven damage. Oh, he gets another attack. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> Jeez. Of course. And 
He misses the second attack. Yeah. Your turn. I. How tall is he? He's seven foot tall. Seven feet tall. Mm-hmm. You notice that his skin kind of looks stitched together. This is fine. This is fine. Yep. <laughs> okay. So the arm with the club, I just kind of. Is there like a stitching where I could just take one of his arms off, like with a slice of my scimitar? You could try. Okay, I'm going to do that. Nine. Are we doing. Wait, Dex? Yeah, that would be Dex. Never mind. That's 11. What kind of weapon is this? Scimitar. What's it made of? Rock penises. Some kind of metal. I need to know what kind of metal it's made out of. It's not specific then. It's probably not the great type of metal. It's probably just made out of like regular steel. Yeah, I imagine. Okay. It does not take any damage. No. Why would it? (laughs) (laughs) It goes... So what? You just took an attack, right? Do you want to move or anything? I'm actually pissed off at it, so I'm going to bite. Okay, roll to hit. (laughs) No, no, no. I do hit? Yes. Okay, good, because I was two more after that. And did we do 2d4 for bite? Yeah. 24. Seven. Damn it. Is any of his arm taken off at all? (laughs) How bad did I miss? Like, you hit him. It just no damage. It just didn't do any damage. Even on, on his, like, stitches. Uh-huh. Oh, fucker. I think these are, like, residual ghosts. These are, like, memories. I don't think we can kill them. Also, I but they're there's killing a rack us. of weapons that you haven't looked at on the right side of the There room. is. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. FYI. What? Okay. Because you decided to go right in there. I did. I th- well, I thought a scimitar was. Oh, he cool. hits you with a nat twenty! No, 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 no! <laughs> it's got to be some kind of record to kill two of your characters in two weeks. <laughs> Fifteen <laughs> damage. Fifteen, the number. Yep. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Where's Pan? Where he's all like, "I got death saves. <laughs> it's fine. Right? It'll be fine." Okay, I look at the rack <laughs> as my first thing. And so you run over the rack. Run over the rack. What appears to be the... Into the mic. What appears to be the uh, <laughs> most damaging thing? So you notice there are really two kinds of weapons. There's quite a few daggers that seem to be made of just pure silver. And then there are also some swords that appear to be made out of. Let's see if I say this right. This say this correctly. Adam adamantine. Adamine adamant adamantine. A g a m a t i n e. Adamantine. Those are some strong swords. Yes, some, <laughs> some Wolverine's claws yeah. are made out of adamantine I'm gonna, swords. I'm uh, gonna grab the largest adamantine sword. <laughs> Roll for strength. Hey, we still have your plate. Not 20. Don't let us forget to give you your plate back. Oh, two. I forgot about that. You okay. pull it off, and as you pull it off, the momentum, because, you know, it takes a lot to pull these swords up, momentum then swings the sword around and actually hits this thing for a damage of two. Nice. <laughs> and you still have an attack. out of something, and it's That does not count as one of your attacks. Sweet. I'm going to, as as I swing through this motherfucker, hopefully I slice some of those bitch-ass threads. And on my way back around, I'm going to, like, kind of hula hoop the sword back <laughs> down on the other side to try and, like, give him the old X. Hey, okay, roll to hit. Not uh, 50. <laughs> 17. You hit. And what's my damage? Uh, 2d8. The one that only goes up to eight. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. The other dimey one. It looks like this. That one. Eight. Eight. That's a nat eight. (laughs) Okay, roll again. (laughs) Nat three. (laughs) So 11. And then I get a second attack, right? Oh, wait, no, because that was... Yeah, because you moved and then attacked. And an attack. Gotcha. So 11 Uh, damage, bitch. 
Are okay. any of his like sutures like starting to come undone? Little d20. He's a creepy looking motherfucker, huh? That's a perception roll, right? No, just ro- rolling a flat 20. So I don't know anything. Still, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no, no, none of his threads are coming off yet. <laughs> okay, it swings at you. <laughs> Swing and a miss. 18. <laughs> 22. <laughs> the number, like, yes. Okay. Yes. Like so he two hits. Two twos. Yeah, it hit. Okay. A little. Mm-hmm. Four damage. You haven't even broken into Pan's so that's like hands. Six, <laughs> that's probably like six turns, right? Can someone else go? Does <laughs> anyone want to try to find out where the fuck I went? <laughs> All right, Gelsira. We don't know you. <laughs> so you've got Scary Guy looking at you. His tongue is like completely out of his face. He's like, Bleh! Right. This fucking better be a dream. <laughs> I turn around and I go to I just go to run. I try to go back the <laughs> hey, way I roll came. For, roll for um, acrobatics. Okay. Ooh. Yes. Uh, okay, so what, when did, I was... Okay, 18. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're able to wriggle out of his grip and you start running towards like the south rock... And you find yourself as you, once you get there, you just start kind of like running towards like in a circle, like <laughs> coming back. Oh no, okay. <laughs> and he's just kind of standing there like waiting for you to basically <laughs> just come back at him. Them. Come at me, bro. This is a gender neutral monster. <laughs> I keep using the wrong pronoun. Oh, I'm sorry, monster. <laughs> How dare I assume gender? Surrender to it. <laughs> okay, I'd like, to, I'd like to summon an animal. You'd like to cunt summon an animal? I, I meant to say conjure, and then I changed to summon. <laughs> Jeez. I would like to cunt. <laughs> no, cunt summon. No, just cunt. Mm. I like cunt summon. Okay, so I'd like to summon uh, the, Puis- uh, the dinosaur. <laughs> Puisiosaurus. You do that. Mm-hmm. The pl- Isn't that the oh. swimmer? You might be right. You're right. Never mind. Sorry. (laughs) I (laughs) just like flailing (laughs) and spades on the ground. Like, what am I doing here? I'm drowning. (laughs) Uh, I can't breathe. uh, No, I need to summon the saber tooth tiger. Yeah, you summon the saber tooth tiger. Um, Did you get Reek in it? Okay, no, not in it, but a separate picture. I might be able to get Reek. And okay, so now I have a saber tooth tiger to help me kill this thing. So he actually has a sword and he goes to swing it at you. 16? He hit. Two damage? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Your newfound friend's dying. You're fine. I might be. Shit, we just might all fall asleep before anything happens. Uh, okay. Uh, so, Sarah? so is it my turn? Okay. Yep. Yeah, I just want to throw a flame at him. Okay, and while you do it, I want you to roll for dexterity. Okay. Mm, four. So in this case, it's actually a good thing. You miss him, oh. but it hits the stone that with the rune for north on it. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, the whole stone just like starts glowing. Mm. And yep, the whole stone starts glowing. Okay. I want to I go touch the stone. While this guy is... Uh, you would have to... Pa- no. Because he's basically right there at the stone. Okay, I like to not touch the stone. <laughs> a tiger wouldn't do anything. Yes, it just wants to attack the person. Okay. So it gets two attacks, a bite, and a claw. The bite is plus six to hit. Uh, 15. It hits. Nice. Um, so this is uh, 1d10 plus five piercing. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> six. Okay. And then I get the claw attack, so this is also plus six to hit. Uh, um, 15. Can't math right now. Fifteen. It hits. Okay, and then this is a uh, two d six plus five. So three, two, so five, so ten damage. Okay, he um, has a few wounds that he's now bleeding from. Oh, it's, okay. <laughs> this guy's less harmful than I thought. <laughs> You're like, oh, what? <laughs> he looks like he's bleeding. Cool. Mm-hmm. And then he tries to go again. Tries to swing his sword after you. Eleven. Yeah, I don't uh, they had zero, they'd be dead, yeah, he, right? Yeah, he misses. 
Okay. So he misses. So your turn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just want to get this thing out of the way so I can do what I need to do. So I'm just going to attack him again with a okay. throw fire at him. <laughs> so this time you throw fire at him. Okay. So Roll for damage. 2d8, I think. Wait, I don't even remember now. What is that? Yeah, 2d8 fire damage. Okay. So 2, 8, so 10 fire damage. 14. <laughs> Sorry. It hits. <laughs> okay. Um, and this is the bite, so this is uh, 1d10 plus 5. Oh my gosh. Uh, 6 damage. That makes sense for the name. He crumples to the ground. It is not moving. Okay. I uh, always have another attack, finish so I'm him. just going to finish him. <laughs> so, this is, um, so this is now the claw, so I just bit him. Now I'm going to claw him. Claws. Did you take any him. damage? 2 damage. No. So not a flawless one. Yeah. Uh, She's not fucking knowing why. 17. Flawless. You hit. Fatality. Oh. That was the best game. Um, eight damage. Okay. Welcome to Mortal The Kombat. saber-toothed tiger just starts eating him. <laughs> <laughs> nom, nom, saber-toothed nom, nom, tiger nom. loots. <laughs> loots the Flesh right off it. Yep. Okay. I want to go examine the glowing stone. Okay. Um, roll for perception. I didn't even hear about a glowing stone. <laughs> Helios. Ooh. Um, twenty one. Is that you? You notice that the stone is glowing, and there's kind of like a a light that has gone from either side to to more the next stones to it. So like the north. West and the northeast stones are now connected to it. Okay, well, I'd like to <laughs> kill it. I'd like to throw a fireball at the other stone, the one on the east, east stone. Hey, you throw a fireball at it and it starts glowing, and then mm. lights come out for, to the northeast and the southeast boom. stones. Boom, northeast boom, and south. Okay, so I throw one now. At at uh, the west stone. And it starts glowing and lights come out to the southwest and northwest stones. Ghost and and now the Ghost south stone. Lady. And it glows. And now you're surrounded by a circle of light. Nice. And then you see right beyond it. the south stone <laughs> what appears to be like a doorway that kind of opens up in the air. And you can see the hallway through it. Uh, I go, hey, saber tooth tiger, let's get out of here. So... I asked the Ride tiger it. to follow me. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, actually, what are we in purgatory? <laughs> what? Did you actually kill us and not tell us that we died? Um, what? And we just walk into a white hallway, all of us, and we just uh, disappear. <laughs> What are you going on about? <laughs> that sounds like a sentence you would say if you were fucking with me. <laughs> um, what are you going wanna, on about, crazy? I would like to, I would like to mount the saber tooth tiger or try to. That's mount. a good idea. You you do that <laughs> okay. and um, roll for dexterity. So I drew it on saber tooth tiger action. That doesn't have a sexy oh, ring to it. Well, As also, like, the saber two it. tiger like jumps over one of the lines, Half its one? foot actually like hits one of the lines, which disrupts everything. Oh. Uh, like Vern but Troyer riding me. Yeah. you actually get kind of thrown and you tumble through, but you d- into the hallway and the door closes. Oh, you just no. lose your saber two tiger. Mm, I wanted to ride it through the house. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can always turn into one. Okay. (laughs) You know what? You gotta quit abandoning him. (laughs) Like, at first you were like, see you later, buddy. You don't get to use this lift. (laughs) Okay. Uh, So my more saber tooth. I don't know why he keeps coming back. So am I back in the hallway? You're in the hallway. I'm like, oh, I just kind of like stand there and I'm hyperventilating for a second. I'm like, what is going on? Okay. Well, you're sitting in the hallway kind of recovering. Okay, Ari is in the kitchen. <laughs> Roll for perception. Eating terrible preserves. 15. Kissing in the You in finally the rest of the find jars. the trap door. I open it. And are able to open it. I go down the stairs. Um, you go down the stairs and you are you 
I agreed about the sight. You see, you also see the armor on the left and the weapons on the right. But it oh, it looks like. <laughs> What's your name, Dagara? Dagata, uh, <laughs> Dagata. Dagata da 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 is like swinging a sword at just thin air. <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you having fun over there? You're just, you. what are you swinging at? Is there a fly? Do I know he's here? You now hear him that he yelled at you. What do you mean? <laughs> You're swinging at the air. Is there a fly? Are you bothered? Why are you Go swinging that big sword? Go get a weapon. Sword? I could really use some help. Okay, <laughs> it's your turn. Do I see the fly um, that she's <laughs> <laughs> No. So I come down on my like super pretzel move thing again with my uh, sim or yeah, actually, with my scimitar, I switched from the thing that was on. Doesn't fuck it that not thing. take damage? I still have it. But <sighs> I do. So I. That means if I hit, then I get plus seven and. Doesn't it not do 1 damage? 6 plus four. But it, it's resistant to that damage, right? Oh, that's right. I do it with the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> the adaminty or whatever it the was. Adaminti, whatever. What I, I can't say it. Yeah, it's not right anyway. I'm just making fun of it. So I do that, and what are we calling that damage? Like, what? what's the roll on that damage? I said 2d8. Right, and I guess i got to roll to see if I hit first. Yeah. Nat 30. I, um... Uh, What'd you roll? Uh, thir- so add your strength to it. 13. What? <laughs> Nines and sixes are hard. I think that's a normal thing. Okay, you hit. Okay. And you said 2d8? 2d8. Got it, got it. Seven. Got it, got it. Ten damage total. And that's my first attack. And he done pissed my ass off. So I'm going to rip into his arm with my fucking mouth, the one that's holding the club. He rolled a hit. <laughs> this was looking really funny to Artie right now. <laughs> I probably, that was a nat three. You miss. Are you trying to eat the fly? <laughs> <laughs> the this what? monster then tries to bludgeon you. Twelve. You miss. Hey, tries again. Fifty. Six. <laughs> miss. Up oh, that time, you miss. actually hit. Turns out <laughs> 12, twelve didn't work, but six probably. <laughs> Your turn. Okay, I'm going to go with the. Oh, hold on, sorry, Ari. Do you do anything? I run over to grab one of the swords, I guess. Uh, one of the cool ones you got like any she's got. kind of healing shit, man? Nope. I'm getting fucking because she's, shredded. <laughs> she's, she's got one of those cool swords, so I go try to pick up one of the swords she's got because clearly she's trying to eat a fly or something, and maybe, <laughs> right, right. maybe I can help. And it's it, it not must, working it with must what require I'm doing. one of these cool swords. So. Okay, roll for strength. The adaminty is strong. Six. You are not able to pull one of the sword. The, at least the first sword that you try, you're not able to pull it off. Hey, how do you pick these swords up? So I... Do I hear him say that? Yes. Probably. My first action, I want to try and pick up a sword. A new sword. To so you're going to like reach him. behind you. To pull, toss roll to for him. strength. Why not? 18. You pull it off. All right. And then I toss it to him. Hey, okay, roll for dex. 14. Uh, are you roll for dex? 13. You catch it. Yay. Thanks. <laughs> got it, got it. All right. Two, was that you did two, two That was two moves. Okay. So that was your turn. So this thing goes to bludgeon you again and misses, but hits the second time. And what happens to her? What do I see okay. happen? What you see is you don't actually see it hit her, but all of a sudden, like, you see her head, like, get knocked back all of a sudden. What the hell's going on up there? <laughs> Are you getting uh, beat five up? Five damage. I'm going to need some help. Are you getting beat up by a fly? <laughs> all right, so is it uh, Ari's? Yes. I jump up there and, like, try to, like, get right next to her and, like, swing this, this sword down into the Ooh. space ahead of her. Like, Roll for dexterity. I can't see what the shit's going on, but like for acrobatics. 
She's getting fucked up. 16. You, as you swing your sword, you feel the sword make contact with something solid in front of her. And roll for damage. What is roll it? 2d8? Well, 2d8. Six. Two. So eight. Yes, bitch. Awesome. Can I make a second attack? If you have one, yes. I do have a second attack. So roll to hit. Roll to hit. Using dex, though. Using, ac- well, yeah. Using acrobatics. At 13. You hit. Seven. Two. So nine. So you hit it, and then you feel like it, like, give way, and I <laughs> respond to it. Gotta, <laughs> gotta, gotta. Actually <laughs> gotta, sees gotta. this golem, then, like... <laughs> fall backwards and just kind of do like a dunk. And Ari, you actually, as it hits the floor, you actually kind of feel like a slight vibration in the floor. Degata, what the hell is happening here? I don't see what I'm hitting. Yo. Can you see something? I got a couple of theories, but I'm a little too concussed (laughs) to convey them. But can you see a thing? Whatever it was, it's dead now. Is it? I don't see it anymore. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. <laughs> Where's Jill Syra? I don't know. You guys don't want to like <laughs> look around. I do, but she hey, says this Luke, thing is dead. Is it dead? These are Dominites. Is the thing dead? I want to grab. Dead. Oh, I want to okay. grab all of the Artemenite T's swords. You are not able to um, take off any more of the swords. I want to. I want to go grab some armor. Did any of the? Did any of the? I, I want to take a look at the coats again and the armor to see, or the... So there were the swords and the daggers on your right. right. Correct. The silver daggers. I'm keeping what I got. I'm and, the art of many to... Okay. Yeah. Are you looking around and you... Yeah, I look around there. the okay, roll whole for perception. room. Roll for perception. <laughs> I, as always, I don't perceive a damn thing. <laughs> I look around the room for whatever. I haven't Roll rolled for above a four in any perception check. Fourteen. You notice that underneath the rack of weapons, I am there's actually like a little trick latch. And then when you undo the latch, you're able to like pull out like a little drawer. I do that. Underneath the weapons. And there are, on the Oceans right hand side, mind. there are some silver stakes. Mm-hmm. And Delicious. on the left hand side, you <laughs> see some bottles that look maybe like potions. Okay, I grab the bottles and I toss them to Degata. I cast Detect Magic. And you <laughs> notice that, let's just say he threw one bottle at you and roll for, roll for Dex, see if you catch it because you're pretty concussed. <laughs> it well, flies. I, well, I got nine. Uh, hold on. Nope. I gave you a chance. Yeah, right? I know. Thank it, you. That was nice. You, you, you're just a little too slow and it flies past your head and Aww. crashes on the ground. All right. I grab the rest of the bottles and walk <laughs> over to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That's on me. I know you are concussed. <laughs> I don't know why I chucked it at you. I just thought it was urgent. Clearly, it's not here. <laughs> Check these out. Uh, are they? Will they help you? Do you know? So I detect magic or... You can detect magic, sure. Is it magical? Does it seem positive magically? There's nothing negative magic about any of the bottles. I'm going to drink one. Or I'm going to drink half of one. Half of one. Yes. I hand you one. Okay. Actually, can I correct that? Yes. I would like to take a lick off of the (laughs) floor of one of the broken (laughs) bottles. Just a little. Just to see... I don't want to full blown poison myself. Do they all look the same? Roll a d twenty. Yes. To God, these are all the same thing. You could just drink from one of these. Do I get a don't modifier? Don't the floor, weirdo. <laughs> no. I got a nap six. <laughs> <laughs> um, nothing bad happens to you. Okay. And in fact, you feel like maybe maybe you gain like one hit point back. Okay, cool. I'm gonna chug every one of these. No, I'm not. I'm going to chug like... One um, at a time. See what I'm going to chug at least one. You get 10 hit points back. Total plus two or 12 or Hold 10. on. Hold on. I got one hit point back from looking at the floor. 
you get two? two? Okay. How many hit points are you down? I don't know. Oh, hold on. Let me. I got to roll for this. Here, just drink the rest of them. I th- well, yeah, but what if, I don't know, maybe it takes some shit off of me later. Um, You get eight hit points back. For drinking one? Yes. And how many are there total? Three. How's that feel? You feel better? I do, but I really could use all of we them. Can take them all. I don't need them at all. Okay. Uh, Just thanks, drink man. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink all of them, and you get ten more hit points. Vicious. That's it. That's mm. Oh no, fourteen more hit points. So ten plus four. It's two d four plus two. Vicious. Okay. So weak ass healing push. That's I, that was two turns for me. I'm gonna go grab the steaks out of the the box. Oh, good. I'm famished. Yeah, and we're going to eat the metal steaks because uh, they <laughs> probably are cooked perfectly, medium rare. <laughs> you you go to chop on one and notice that it's completely made of silver. You break this is silver, not food. Got it. <laughs> uh, so I take the steaks because maybe we'll need them. I don't know. Uh, help me carry these, Degata. I have like a little, like a like part of my outfit is like a satchel pocket thing. I can put a few in there. Okay, so how many are there? There are six. All right. You take three and I'll put three in my pocket. How cool. about that? Sounds good. That way if we get separated and one of us finds the thing that we got to put these in, we can be halfway there. We should go find Jelsira. Yeah, let's go do that. Okay, we retreat Where, through see, the secret door. Okay, so come back up to the door. You're in the kitchen. Go to the dining room. Go back into the hallway. Mm-hmm. And you see Jelsira is kind of sitting there in a daze in the middle <laughs> of the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? What's oh, up? Oh, hi. What happened to you? I don't. I don't even know. I'm. I'm so confused. We fought the invisible man. Oh, I. I. I fought. <laughs> I this. mean, my man was visible. <laughs> so I was. <laughs> um, so I was in a forest, and there were stones, and there was a druid from my village. And then there was a knife and a spider and some fire. This is so weird. I feel like some of this shit is like residual haunting stuff. Yeah, and then and then I then I I made a saber tooth tiger come and help me, and we killed the monster. And then I tripped on my way out of here, and here I am. Where's your saber tooth tiger? What oh, was he's in your got, room. I, he didn't make it through. He's still back in the door. Oh, are you gonna like? Can you dispel him, or are you just gonna leave him there to hang out uh, forever? He disappears in an hour. Oh, okay. So I'll just let him have fun. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did you ask? What was in your room other than that? There were these like stones, mm. it looked like a almost like an ancient stone temple, mm. and we each any discernible like god or anything. I didn't really get the chance to notice that, but they did. They were they were very old, and they marked the four cardinal directions, and I had to get out of them by activating them by activating the each of the main the four ones. Did you take any damage? I took two damage, so I'm I'm fine, except I'm just like, cold and miserable. The well, so over cold. here is a little concussed. I, think. I am oh. concussed, but I do have an idea. Okay, what if we go back in there? Mm. Saber two tigers still in there? I mean, as far as I know. What if we go back in there and summon the four corners? Um, we have some stakes. We found some silver stakes, we oh. so we might. Maybe there's something in this house we'll need those for. I don't know if I took them. We have Does them. silver stakes? Y'all act maybe, like I'm crazy. These maybe are a, ghosts. Maybe like a werewolf or a vampire. Maybe. maybe. So um, We have three each. Okay, well. I give one to Jelly. Okay, thanks. You want to give one to Jelly? Yeah, now you can have two and what? we'll all have two steaks. Oh, okay. We all have two steaks? Put it in your pocket. Okay. Don't I, I put buy it in my that. pocket. Use it as an earring. Oh, I, I am really hungry. That food wasn't actually food. Um... Yeah. All right. Well, sorry let's. I, yeah. I'm, I don't know what to do. I am curious though to see. I, I do. Wanna, I think I want to see this light show. <laughs> FYI, there is one door you still have not opened. I go knock on that door, and as you knock, it sounds kind of hollow. Mm-hmm. Graphic. Yes, holographic. Hmm. I come up and open the door. So this is the last door there on the right. Okay. Even open. Nope. And it actually opens inward into the hallway, whereas all the other doors kind of opened into the room. This one opens in the hallway. And there is a f- um, set of stairs going up. Mm, weird design for this house. Yeah. Ooh, that's when we heard the groaning. When we upstairs. were 
approaching the house, did we see like a um, tower of any, of any sort? No, you just know that it is a two story house. Okay. All right. It's a little short of a full book. Who has the most hit points right now? <laughs> I, I mean, anyone have a shield? No. I, I, oh, hey, also. Ah, shoot. No, oh, never mind. I forgot to give you something. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're dead. <laughs> didn't I grab? Did I grab more than my? Did I get any of those things at all? No, I didn't. Damn it! I, I wanted to get. <laughs> I you guys didn't to go to the armor, did you? I mean, I said I did, but then I thought better of it after I got ignored. I so did, I but I didn't there. roll well. I wanted you to get her healing potions. Yeah, and then I kind of armor doesn't forgot. work. We for me. did get me healing yeah. potions. Yeah, but then you didn't go back to the armor. Hey, armor um, doesn't work. Jelly, for me. there's these really cool um, swords and shit over here. Maybe we should go back and get you some of these. They seem to be really powerful. The only way to fight. Well, these I'm things. not really much into swords. I don't know. Maybe you could pick one up, though, because that seems to be the main problem. Mm. <laughs> uh, yes, the little halfling is going to pick one of these up. Well, there's also armor, Jelly. Do you oh. Can you use armor? Really? I, really, I can pretty much only have leather armor. Vicious. So, All right, well, let's go up yeah. these stairs. <laughs> all righty. Okay. I go up the stairs. I go up after. You guys all go up the stairs and you come out just kind of like a landing where there's like two railings that kind of stick out. And then you notice you're in the middle of the hallway. There's a door on your right. There's a door slightly in front of you to the left and another door to the left of that. Just hallway and then just a couple of doors. That looks like my childhood, like high school home on the second floor. You guys want to go right? Always go left. Well, I feel like we should go right because it was stomping above our heads when we were down below. Okay, that's probably that's, right. I mean, always go left unless you have science. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go right and open that door. We notice that it's a privy. What's a privy? Bathroom? I thought yes. that was like understanding. I'd take something. a shit in it. <laughs> I don't flush. Is flushing mm. a thing in this realm? Roll for constitution. M- roll for constipation. 11. Ooh. You start to walk into it, but the stench is so overpowering. Oh, somebody that already it took makes care of you it. super <laughs> nauseous and you run back out. <laughs> really, when you said that, though, I'm so in, like watching this in my head right now that I smelled it a little. All right. So yeah, that's that, fucked up, Deborah. That's you my can, bad, guys. That, that was a bathroom that somebody already destroyed. <laughs> yeah, I was okay. going <laughs> to. Well, I guess we'll just have to hold it. It's like that. It's like a house of Tokyo. Just, you just go wherever you want around here. This haunted house doesn't mind. The ghost will clean it up. Why does it smell like White Castles? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so let's go to the one on the left. Okay. The other one. Next door. You open up the door and there's like a dresser to your right. Uh, roll for perception. Let me see how much you see. Seven. Eleven. Uh, nine. <laughs> Seven. Okay, nine, you kind of just get the vague impression of furniture. So like a dresser to the right with a chair in front of it. And then like there's a, a big, yeah. And there's a big bed Ooh. in the middle. It's also fireball. Um, tired. <laughs> and you see two, but it's like, it's like one of those like, draped beds like it's like a giant canopy 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 with very heavy coverings as do they appear to be dusty you don't really notice whether or not they are dusty are they closed yes Mm -hmm. and there are very 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 heavy drapes over the windows to either side can we hear anything no I want to go look out the window roll for dexterity Three. Yeah. <laughs> As you pass the bed to go look out the window. Anyway. A hand reaches out and grabs you. <laughs> Why do I keep getting pulled into things? <laughs> Is this Stranger Things? Is this? Corpse I've hand. never seen Stranger Things. It's pretty good, Deborah. Thanks. Yeah. No, I mean Stranger Things, but also this is pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I meant Stranger Things then, but I 
don't no. disagree. Okay, so the hand grabs Joey. So the hand grabs you and stops you and attempts to pull you like onto the through bed. the window. <laughs> oh, and wait. Into- oh, I thought like through the curtains in the bed. Yeah, it's gonna have its way with her. I thought she was looking out the window. She was trying to look out the window, but I to get to the see. window, she had There's, to pass the bed. Right. Zool's on the bed, <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm, I'm just yelling for help, help, help. <laughs> I mean, I run in like a fucking hero. <laughs> and what do you do? Swing the axe at the hand. I assume it's a corpse hand. I'm going to chop it off. Twelve ghost hand. Chopping all the ghost. It does not hit, and it pulls Gelsira onto the bed <laughs> oh, no. with it. All right, I watch the sex happen. <laughs> you, you don't see anything. It's behind the curtains now. Right, I pull down the curtains <laughs> so I can watch the rape. Uh, roll for strength. Seven. Oh, I rolled a seven. Didn't I untrain your dice? <laughs> What's happening? I mean, I know you've done it to mine. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever's DMing. Roll again. It was before I DM'd, asshole. Five. Oh, to my 15. So you do not pull down the drapes. I almost called you Lux. Dagaba. <laughs> Dagaba. <laughs> Just call me Lux. Dagata. 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 What do you do? Gata the Gata. Um, so I start screaming in abysmal. Got it, got it. Or abyssal, not abysmal. It is abysmal, though. It is. I start screaming abysmally, abysmal, <laughs> or abyssal, abyssal. Got it, got it. I scream, all hail to the watchtowers of the north and the east and the south and the west. Take this illusion from me. Release my friends. You just hear a screech come from the bed and Gelsira yelling, Help! (laughs) (laughs) Gelsira, I need you to roll for strength. Can I have a second attack? Nope, not by this point. Okay. Because by this point, it's got her on the bed. Okay. So so I need her to roll to see if she got it. Roll for for strength, right? Roll for strength. Stop. Uh, 18. Oh, nice. You're able to shake yourself free nice. and able to kind of like crawl to the end of the bed. <laughs> you messed with a Ron Druid. <laughs> and you turn back and you look and you see like a man there with like really super pale, Ooh. sallow skin, really pointy teeth. <laughs> you said pointy teeth? Yeah. Like super pointy teeth. He's kind of, he looks kind of caught off guard. Like he was just kind of reacting. But he's he's gathering his wits back up to try to grab you again. Can I do something? Yes. I I like to pull out the stake. There you go. Okay. And I like to stab him right in the heart. Roll to hit. Is it strength uh, modifier? Yes. Fifteen or no fourteen? Because I'm because I have a cold. <laughs> you miss. <sighs> Silk sheets. They're slippery. Mm. <laughs> you land Couldn't face be. down and he mounts you. <laughs> Couldn't oh, be no. silver sheets. <laughs> Um, all right, sorry. Okay, I try to open the curtain again to see what's going on okay. in there. Well, this time you just open them. <gasps> Last okay. time you're trying to pull them down. I so. so I grab, I grab, I see, do I see this terrifying figure with the jagged teeth? Yes. Okay, and I'm like, vampire shit. And so I grab a stake out of my pocket and go to stab him in the heart, too, while he's on top of and mounted jelly. <laughs> uh, Roll a hit. Like, he is hard in there. Is not. That's a nat 20. Okay, roll nice. for... Uh, everything. Roll, roll for, for damage. Everything. I cast everything. What is it? What does it do? What damage dice am I doing? A D12? 2D8. I mean, D20. it's just a steak. <laughs> D100. <laughs> Blue and yellow purple Seven. pills. I've been to Mushroom Mountain. 20D8? Did you say 5d8? But nothing no, I said 2d8. Two, two, two oh, I only rolled and one, so 10. Oh. And then six more, and then <laughs> five more, one more. Degata. I Do I notice this turd yes. looking like a vampire? I run over to the shades and draw them. You mean open them? Uh, that's what I said. 
<laughs> yeah, no, I open. Oh, yeah, I just throw or I just I think open up the shades. Okay, well, it's still the middle of the night. Oh, yeah, that doesn't matter. <laughs> then I don't do that if that's okay. It's still okay. Or I do that because I was, you know, can't. You're see. still concussed. Yeah, I'm concussed. <laughs> and just wanted right. some fresh air. <laughs> so I. So is he on top of Jelly right now? Banging. Like he's like leaning towards Galsara to bite her. I jump on his back with one of my stakes, and I'm a hyena, so remember that. And I plunge it into the his fucking back. Okay, roll to hit. Near his heart. And you can add either your dex or your strength, depending on which is higher. 15. You miss. You am I, land did, am I on still his on back, him, though? But you just miss with your stake. So I'm just, like, hanging on? Yeah. Okay. Um, a vampire goes to bite Gelsira. Nat 20. Oh, my God. Mr. Vampire there. Yep, you're dead. You're going to turn and we're going to have to kill you too. Yeah, I can't go bite in this one. <laughs> you could try. It'd be cool to be a vampire. Yeah, maybe you gain his powers. Maybe I do that. Hmm. The Gata becomes a vampire and we never see her again. Gata da Gata. Gata da Gata. 12 damage. <sighs> Rico? <laughs> 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 Who was that? The chair. Oh, I think it was me. <laughs> <laughs> you um, gotta stop sounding alike. Yo, Syrah, your turn. You're right, you're right. Okay, I, I would just like to try to stab him again with the stake. Use rape whistle. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. The rape whistle? It's not very helpful. Yeah, but it gets attention. Okay. You miss. You know what, though? Um, the it's way you rolled that dice was really pretty. Mm. All right. All right. I go and try to punch it off of uh, Gelsira. Okay. Remember, I'm on its back. Why is there a threesome happening? When in Rome. Uh, Idiot. 17. You hit. Uh, one damage. Ooh. I expend <laughs> a key point to do Fury of Blows and make two more punches. <laughs> Hit that bad. That one doesn't hit. And that one also does not hit. So extra attack time. Grab my axe. Is that a luck thing? Too? And try to like go sideways so I don't miss. Thing, yeah. And just hit him in, in, in the side. In the appendix. I miss. Okay, roll for dexterity to make sure you don't hit Degata. I mean, you know, uh, I definitely do. What'd you roll? <laughs> uh, sure. Five. Can I roll? Yep, you hit her. Instead can of the vampire, you can roll a save. Do I notice him doing it? I'm gonna let you roll for a save. Save throw. Why are you guys smothering him? <laughs> We're trying to just roll a d20. Dash. Well, I think I got something on a saving throw. I want to get all I can get for right dex. Now. And it's a d20. Yeah, just roll a d20. Dexterity. Fifteen. You're able to like. As his axe comes towards you, you're able whoa, to whoa, roll whoa. off of the vampire, <laughs> and then you actually roll off the bed onto the floor, like, on the opposite okay. side. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Vampire's turn. You guys have really startled this vampire, so he's not, like, all the way roused. There. He's just like, what is going on? <laughs> he was just, like, resting. And you guys just broke into his bedroom Why for no reason. Why the fuck is he asleep right you now? You should go to bite his neck. First you of all, just chilling. vampires are 14. Maybe he's old and tired. 1500. Oh, man. It's just a really old vampire. Aww. He's a grandpa. Vampire. No, I feel bad. <laughs> but he May, misses you. Will you nice. sire me? Um, but this time, like, he, again, he's like, was just really surprised. Only You only did one attack last time. But now he's going to start using his multi attack. Probably not. <laughs> and he tries to grapple Gelsira. Gelsira, roll for save. This bitch is fucking thirsty. Is it dexterity? Yeah. 13. But he's grappled you. It's not that hard. So he has you. All right. So, Remember that he's got <sighs> like a hold of Delisaira. I, 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 you know, monologue. Hey, get off of her, weirdo. <laughs> you rapist. We're going to tell the entire town you're a rapist. 
And then I, I, go, I go to try to grab him and like pull him off. Uh, roll for dexterity. Yeah, I have. I don't know. Nat 20. It didn't hit his heart. No. Nat 20. You're able to pull him off of Gelsira. Okay, nice. and then extra attack, I guess, then I grab another stake and try to shove it in his heart. Okay, go for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it. Also, I messed up the stakes. The stakes should be wooden, my bad. That's a 22. But whatever. I think that it. I think a silver stake would do just as good, though, right? Yeah, the book says wooden, but whatever. We're going oh. with silver today. 22. Oh, 22. Okay, you definitely hit. Hold on. Right in his ball sack heart. His heart has a ball sack, by the way. It sounds like he has heart disease. That's Probably. It's not the good vampire, you could tell that like he's not dead, but he's now paralyzed. Oh, uh, this dude's paralyzed. Get in while the getting's good. Druid. I holler. Heat metal. Oh, that's a good idea. I yell. That's my first move. Attack. <laughs> yes. And while that's happening, I bite into his neck. Yes. With your hyena teeth. With my hyena teeth. Roll to hit. Nat 50. 19. You hit? Did we decide that was too weak? Yeah, it was uh, 6 D 50s. 6. 1 D 60. 9 damage. Okay. Matthew. That's the right G- uh, Jelsira, did you hear me? I did, but I'm uh, waiting for my turn. Uh, <laughs> no, I just wanted to verify. <laughs> oh, I guess I shouldn't have had you roll to hit. You just automatically hit. Whatever. Yo, uh, oh, well, uh, no one me? knows your name. Yeah, it's <laughs> oh, fine. That's okay. Yeah, I still did still hit. damage. Um, at this point, all of a sudden, the vampire turns into mist mm. and seems to float towards the left hand wall and kind of looks like he's like he like he goes underneath the wall. I punch it before he gets there. <laughs> I'm like, no, uh, you, <laughs> your hand just kind of goes through it. My magic hands. <laughs> Are we not supposed to kill them? Is that what's happening? And that'll do us for this episode of Zone with Play. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so not very what? good at doing one-offs here. Uh, burr, burr, burr. First of all, <laughs> you're great. And bam, bam, bam. We'll see you next time. Thanks for viewing slash listening. Thank you. Bye.